Hello, this is Billy Ford from the Nostalgia Mall, and welcome back to Nostalgia Mall Christmas 2023. And today we're going to be looking at this uh, computer. It's, uh, well, a bit older than what we usually look at here on the channel. This is a AST Premium 386SX16. I believe this is going to be the first time we've ever looked at a 386-based uh, computer system on this channel. So that's very exciting. This was given to me by a former co-worker uh, about two months ago. But I haven't even powered it on or anything yet because I, it's uh, AT only and I don't have a AT to PS2 uh, keyboard adapter. So that took me a while to get. But now we can finally uh, use it. And plus I wanted to kind of wanted to save it for uh, Christmas. Make it a little bit more special. So, on the front here, uh, we can take a quick tour of that. we got the AST logo there. Very industrial look. Um, the case, um, the chassis kind of reminds me of an old uh, IBM PC from the 80s. Got a reset switch there. we got two 3.5 inch floppy disk drives. I wouldn't be surprised if one of these had been replaced at one time. This one seems a little different from this one, just the way it looks. I think there may have originally been a five and a quarter inch floppy drive right here. So, uh, yeah. We'll turn it around. Ah. On this side, we've got a very beefy looking power switch. Beefy feeling too. And this thing weighs a ton, folks. And on the back here, we've got uh, two serial ports, a parallel port, AT keyboard connector, power. I believe that's a Logitech bus mouse port. VGA out with some nice little dip switches there. And we got a key lock here, and we still have the original keys with it. So, let's go ahead and crack it open and see what's inside. Just notice there's a little spec sticker on the back. And I can confirm that this did originally have a 5 and a quarter inch floppy disk drive in here, so apparently it was replaced at some point with a 3.5. One meg of memory, 16K of static RAM cache, and an AST VGA graphics adapter. Okay, that cover was not easy to get off, but we finally uh, did manage to get it off. There's our two floppy drives down in there. There's our hard drive. I forget how much... Uh, space that hard drive has and if it's original to this computer to begin with and if there's any uh settings on there i need to write them down because i doubt this bios uh, can auto detect them and what's interesting about this computer is is that the computer itself is actually on this expansion card yeah and apparently all this motherboard really is is just a uh, a backplane so I find that very uh, peculiar but not in a bad way looks like someone disconnected the fan for some reason let me see if I can uh, get this card out okay here's a closer look at the card around actually there's our uh, 386 chip SX16 believe that's a coprocessor and that might be a cache socket I'm not sure <laughs> I usually don't deal with computers this old so forgive me if I uh, don't know what I'm talking about here I'm just guessing on a lot of stuff looks like it uses I guess 72 pin sims. That's surprising. That's uh, I figured it would have been 30 pin. And there's our AST logo. K 
connects with a uh, through 8-bit ISA but it also has this special connector here and you can see three of them right here on the uh, back plane board you would uh, almost think this would be a uh, Visa local bus but with this being a 386 I highly doubt that so I'm not sure what you would consider that to be but with this out we can look at this uh, other card here that's our VGA card it looks like a paradise uh, VGA card those were very common back then from what I understand and there's the aforementioned Logitech bus mouse adapter don't have a bus mouse so we'll have to use a serial and thankfully there is no uh, Varda battery in here it just uses this Rayovac battery connected down there thankfully it hasn't leaked or anything I will be taking that out probably and replacing it and there's our really big power supply so let me get this put back together and we'll try to boot it up okay I got a quick little setup here for it uh, not an error appropriate monitor I know but it is VGA and it will work got a keyboard and I even uh, managed to scrounge up a serial mouse now I'm a little bit gun shy and I'll tell you why because this is one of those older computers with one of these big power supplies and I wouldn't be surprised if it has a reefer cap in here and these are known to uh, not only go bad but tell you violently that it's gone bad so hopefully we don't have to deal with that today I did see on the spec sticker copyright date of 1989 so perhaps this is when it was built I don't know so <laughs> all right no use dancing around this three two one No smoke yet. Okay, keyboard flashed. Not getting a VGA signal. I wonder why. The computer seems to be working, but I don't know why the Green isn't. Maybe I should check the uh, source. <laughs> I can confirm it is working. Well, I guess not every video, even a Christmas video, can have a uh, happy ending. This uh, VGA card appears to be dead, and I think I figured out why. Look at that. I believe that may be corrosion on that chip. That's why I couldn't get it to output a signal on any monitor I tried. And unfortunately, I don't have a spare uh, VGA uh, ISA uh, video card. So this puts an end to this video prematurely and I'm gonna go ahead and put this video out just because it's important to show the failures along with the successes if anyone knows where I can get a VGA video card for a good price that's ISA please let me know so I can get this computer up and running so I'm sorry the video uh, had to end this way but this is one of those things I just can't control. Look at that, that's nasty. So, I hope you guys still found some enjoyment in this video. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off. Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook and X. 
You may also support me on Patreon if you'd like. Until next time, this is Billy Corn wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.